guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today I'm going to be working on a set of headphones for a client. His cat chewed up the cable on the end and these aren't like the old school cables where you can just strip the ends off and twist them together and drop some solder on it to make the repair. These are the micro wires and they're specially coated like a plastic, I think it's acrylic or whatnot. So you can't just strip the ends of it off, twist it together, solder it, and be done with it. It doesn't work quite like that. So let me give you a little close-up view of these here. And so as you can see, the ends of the wires here. Let me see if I can get even closer to it here. So you can kind of get a view of the wires. There you go. So you can see those are absolutely tiny wires, and uh, they do have like the plastic coating on them so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the housing around the edge right here and strip it back just a little bit uh, to give us some room to work with the wires and then um, we'll go from there all right so from there you just uh, strip off the ends of them like that once you get that cut down just a little there and uh, yeah, pull off the ends like that. Now you are going to have this fuzzy cotton stuff on the center here, um, which you can just isolate, pull it back, and we're going to burn that away because we don't need that. It's just going to get in the way of our other procedure here. So you want to try to get all the wires together that you can, separate all the cotton or the fiber, whatever that is, out of there. And uh, just try to get it as much as you can out of the way. So in order to make this process easier. You can cut this with scissors, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to try to get it all. So um, once you do that, I'm just going to take a lighter and burn the rest of it down out of the way. And then I'll give it a quick little burn around like that. So now you can see the difference in the two. It's a nice clean work area there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one here real quick. Now don't torch this too hard because you will melt the plastic off of this down here. Um, it's not going to be a happy situation. So, All right, so what next thing you want to do is you want to isolate the wires from each other or to kind of stretch them out there, separate them. And the negative wire sometimes will be wrapped around the white wire. You just need to kind of pull that out and separate it a little bit from the main connection there. Okay, so there we have it. So now that we have both sets of wires isolated, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tips off to match them the best that I can. Alright, so before you actually put all the wires together, you're going to um, twist one side down and take some e-shrink. And you're going to want just enough to be able to cover the connection once you get it all put back together. So I'm going to give it a little extra room there. And we're going to cut this off at the end right there. And you want to slide this over the wire. So then that way when you come back and put your connection together, you can slide this back over it, hit it with a little bit of heat, and that'll take care of the covering the connection for you. And go ahead and twist the wires together up here at the top. So you start your first set, get those twisted together, and then go into your next set, which for this case will be the red. Alright, so the best that we can, there are all of our twisted pairs. As far as that goes, get a little better look at that there. So I kind of got them all twisted together. Now, in old school, you know, if these were stripped off at the end, this would work. Right now, it would already be functioning. But at this point, it is not. So you could plug it in and test it on your phone or, you know, a music device, whatever, and it's probably not going to work. So the trick here is that for the sake of keeping all of this clean, I'm going to trim these wires down just a little bit before I heat them up just so they're not quite so long so plus it makes the ends a little bit nicer all right so there we have them all kind of trimmed down a little bit there so what you want to do is you're going to take your flame and start with isolate one wire we're going to start with the red one right here Isolate that and you're going to heat it up and you're going to see it kind of catch on fire there. It's burning that coating off right there. Alright, don't let it burn too much. From there, you want to kind of 
use your fingers to pull that off. That's uh, when you pull it like that, you're rubbing the plastic off as after it's burned. Okay, so another thing you can do here to help this process along, take a little piece of sandpaper. This will also help to get rid of that acrylic coating. Um, you can use a fine grit. I, I don't know, I think this is 80 or 100. Yeah, this is an 80 grit, which is probably a little too big. But anyway, you want to isolate the wires in one at a time and just put your sandpaper around the edge of it like that. Squeeze down. And if I can isolate that wire there, squeeze down and then just pull. Just kind of sand the edge of that wire. That'll take more of that coating off right there and probably help the conductivity. And so you want to do this to each individual wire. Okay, now that we have everything wired together, I'll give you a little kind of a closer, see if I can get this in the magnifying glass again, give you a little closer look at that. So everything sanded down, torched down, wired together, and uh, but we need to verify that everything works. And this is a gaming headset that has a microphone boom mic on it. So um, I'll open up my voice recorder here, and we're going to do a test recording. So let's say testing one, two, three. So you can see as the indicator, it is actually recording my voice. So the microphone is working properly. So then we'll do the playback on it. So you can see as the indicator, it is actually recording my voice. All right, so the playback was successful. So we officially, we have audio and we have microphone. Everything is connected properly. So at this point, I'll go ahead and disconnect it back from the phone there. And all of the connections are proper. Everything's stripped off. The wires are working well. Okay, so from here, um, you would want to solder these points. Not everyone out there is going to have a soldering gun, um, but you would want to drop some solder on the end of each of these points and then wrap it up in tape and then slide your uh, e-shrink over the top of it. But now, for the ones out there who don't have a soldering gun, I'm going to do this the other way um, uh, with electrical tape and just making this connection, securing it with some electrical tape. So this video is for those who don't have a soldering gun or e-shrink or any of that stuff. And um, so we'll just take some uh, electrical tape here. And the primary thing you want to do is isolate each wire with some electrical tape and then just keep wrapping it as you go. So you start with your first set of wires and you want to get the, we'll start with the negative here. You want to get that back down and out of the way. So just lay it down flat with the cable right there. Let's see if you can get a visual on this. So you want to cover that wire like that. So I get it up close so you can see how I'm securing that cable under there. So you get your first wire under there and go ahead and get it electrical tape wrapped around once. So now the first wire is hidden and it's not going to touch any of the other wires. So go ahead and wrap that up there actually make it a little bit tighter there we go alright so from there you can go ahead and put your second wire down that you want to isolate which we'll do the red striped one in this scenario and then do one wrap around like that so then you have two wires out of the five out of the way now also you don't want to do them all on one side because you're going to have a big lump in it so from there what you want to do is cut the electrical tape off and you want to go ahead and get that kind of looking like that so you've got one side done so now we're gonna jump over here and go ahead and do the other side of this and sorry if my hands are shaking this is extremely tiny and fragile and you have to be like very very careful with it so alright so I wrapped around one wire got that one secured now we're down to two wires left so I'm going to go ahead and do this little dude right here and then wrap it around one time. So now we're left with one single individual wire with the tape still sticking out there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back to this side and then we're going to continue this wrap 
And what this is doing now is actually connecting both sides. So there you have it, like that right there. So all of the wires are isolated. Um, none of them are touching each other. And um, so for those, like I said, for those who don't have a soldering iron or don't have e-shrink, just, you just have electrical tape, this is what you're looking at doing right here. This is what your final repair is gonna look like. Now granted, that's kind of chunky, but you've solved the problem. Okay, so once you get to that point, you've got it wired together like that, you need to do another recording. And yeah, you just want to verify, you can see that you can hear my audio, my voice through there, and you want to kind of move the wire around, make sure there aren't any shorts in the audio, looks good. So then we'll go back and do the playback from there. And there we go. All right, so there you have it. You can see that everything is working properly. And uh, let's break out of this. All right, so that concludes that. Everything is nice and secured. And like I said, um, beyond this point, what you want to do if you have the soldering iron, you know, you want to go ahead and solder those connections in as you're working on it and then wrap it up and take pretty much the same way. And if you have e-shrink, you can come in at the end of that, slide that e-shrink over the top of this, heat it up a little bit, and it locks it down, and that keeps it gives a little extra resistance as far as tug and more um, stability. Here is what it looks like fully repaired with the e-shrink on it. And you get a little close-up view there of what that looks like. Nice tidy job. So there's electrical tape under there holding that everything into place. Then put a piece of e-shrink over the top and it's a nice clean, well as clean as it can be looking and everything works perfectly. So there you have it. I hope this video helped you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace.